wh what is your idea of seeing right now? Can visualize what it is that you actually want to see happen. Because let me tell you something, in year three, I have some vision for leading with lead. I have some vision beyond this 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 little moment that you're watching this or listening to this right now. I have some vision. Cause I, can I share some vision with you? Everybody, Lee Scott here. Thank you for watching and listening to this week's episode of Leading with Lee, where we talk about life, leadership, and legacy. And we're going to help you figure out how to discover the leader within you. Um, today is very, very, very special because this is the third year anniversary episode of Leading with Lee. That's something to make some noise about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, li and listen, I know it's, a, it's different today because I have a live audience. Thanks to my awesome family yeah. for being uh, my live audience today. But it's going to be a great episode because, man, how far have I come with this story called Leading with Lee? It's so amazing that right now you're watching something that was started and desired and worked in me about three years ago. Three years ago, this week on February 9th, I hosted the first ever leading with Lee event. And it literally transformed my life. It changed everything that I did up until this point. And I was literally in a unique moment in my life, but I'm so grateful that I actually stepped out and took a chance for myself and started this thing you get an opportunity to watch and listen to right now called Leading with Lee. So without further ado, let's start it off on the right foot. Let's do something really amazing. Let's watch a clip from the first ever Leading with Lee event ever held on February 9th, 2019. Check this out. So you see these three companies, right? This is Wendy's, McDonald's, and Burger King. Okay. Whoop. Wendy's, McDonald's, and Burger King. Now we all would agree that they all sell burgers, right? They all have a version of fries, don't they? And they all have dessert, even though some of them, their machines don't work, but we're not gonna come for their lives. <laughs> we all agree that at the, at the foundation of what they do, this is what they generally have, right? Now, this is something that interesting thing that I want you to understand. They all don't do it the same, do they? They all don't sell things the same way. It's not packaged the same way, is it? See, this is the interesting thing. There's tons of people that speak. But they're not me. They don't have my unique experiences. They haven't lived my life. They haven't done anything. They, don't, they have not done anything that I have done because they're not me. And what you have to understand in your leadership, whether you're leading a business, whether you're leading an organization, no matter what it is, they're not you because of this valid point. They do not have the same strategy in how they do what they do. Because it's unique. It's very specific. It's very specific. And as a leader, you have to understand, you can't get distracted by what other people are doing because they're not you. They're not you. Don't get distracted. Run in your lane. You have a lane. It is unique to you. It is unique to your life. You have something that is in you that specifically that the world has to see because it's you. So if you understand that and you understand how to function and understand your strategy on how you do something, you'll never get jacked up or messed up. Another thing, the interesting, the interesting thing about these companies is this. These companies innovate to stay relevant within their space. Wendy's sign is not the same it was 50 years ago. They keep innovating. They're like, we're going to stick to the foundation of what we do, but we're going to become more relevant. Same mission, but we're relevant now. We're, become, we're, changing, the, we're changing how you, you view what we do. 
I'm doing everything necessary to ensure that like, you're like, oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's real nice. I like how they did that. They took a little bit away from here. They did this little bit thing right here. Huh, hmm, hmm. But the thing is, they didn't change so much to a point that you didn't know who they were. You still know who they are. Every time you see those golden arches, you know it's McDonald's. They don't have to put, they don't even have to put McDonald's on the bill. You know it's them because they have developed such a, 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 a lane and, and have become so great at what they do that literally it's like, oh, I know who they are. Next point. It's not about starting. It's about sustaining. Everybody can start something. We all have we all have the capacity to get started. But the real challenge is, is can you sustain beyond starting? Last month, thousands of people went to the gym. Oh, it's my New Year's resolution. Baby, I'm getting in shape. I'm going to have that body by the summer. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to kill the game. But last week, half of those people were not in the gym. You know why? Because they had the ability to start, but they did ha not have the capacity to sustain. You have to sustain the thing. You got to. Oh, man, wasn't that amazing? Oh, my gosh. It was so great. And I, I'm, I'm so grateful as I look back on those moments of being the first opportunity for me to share about life, leadership and legacy. One thing I, I do want to share with you in this episode is that you have to be able to see something before it happens. You have to be able to believe that that things are possible and that you can make a difference in the world around you. My pastor back in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, Pastor Michael Todd would always talk about seeing things before it's happening. And this is a pure example. Three years ago, I saw that this was going to be something that I wanted to do. This is something that I wanted to grow and be functioning in. And now I'm still doing it today because of my belief. But, but let's talk for a second about how far we have come. This episode is, 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 is talking about can we see it? The, I'm, I'm focused on this idea of vision today. And I want to talk to you about the power of vision. We, we just looked back at the beginning of Leading with Lee, at, at something that started as a conversation with one of my best friends, Kyle Sturt, who used to produce Leading with Lee. And, and, and I saw this, I had this vision for an event where I got to share about life, leadership, and legacy. And I talked to them about different leadership principles that I felt so strongly about. And this opportunity created this momentum in my life where I actually got an opportunity to do some really amazing stuff by speaking and sharing and different things like that. And in the first year of Leading with Lee, we had seminars. I did like four seminars that year. And people would come to the seminars. The seminars were free and it started out that way. And, and that was our beginning. And then at the end of 2019, Kyle and I started to have a conversation about leading and what leading could be. And we said, man, what if we turn leading into a vlog and podcast? Unbeknownst to us, the pandemic happened. We were already ahead of the curve about thinking of what we want to change this thing into. And now it is a podcast and blog that people get to see and people get to listen to every other week. And what's so interesting is when we started it out, you know, we I honestly I just was trying something, you know, all of us try stuff. Right. We, we all take take chances and try to do things and and try to invest in ourselves in a multiplicity of ways. But that became a powerful moment, even turning into a blog and podcast. So this biweekly blog and podcast, at the beginning, we just had a few people watching, right? We just had a few people engaging with the content. But I can tell you right now, up to date, we have done over 50 episodes of Leading with Lee. Isn't that amazing? We've done 50 episodes of Leading with Lee on average. And, and, and you can clap. You can celebrate that. Because let's, let's be real, on average, the average podcast, if I'm not mistaken, the average podcast only lasts about 50 episodes. We are past 50 episodes, y'all. We have surpassed the typical length of any certain podcast or vlog. We've gone beyond that. We've done over 50 episodes. We have done, and, and we've had over 25 guests. 
come onto the podcast and blog. We did, we have done so much stuff. We have went from, as I said, we went from a seminar to becoming a podcast and a blog. We have had over 25 guests, people who are in government, people who are small business owners, people who were creatives. We've had different types of guests. We've had couples come on to Leading with Lee. We've had this idea of Leader Tips Live where I got on every single month and every other month at some points and just came on the live and talked to people about my principles of leadership and sharing with folks. I've been posting on social media consistently for the past year or so. Um, when I was, and this was happening in a unique time in my life. And, and I, I think it's super important to recognize how far you have come. It is important for you to actually see that when you step out and take a chance on yourself and actually believe in your vision and goal, that the place you started is not the place that you are now. And the powerful thing about understanding progress is progress is one step at a time. It's one idea at a time. It's one yes at a time. It's one a, a, a belief moment at a time. It is about you believing that you can progress beyond the moment that you are in. And I'm so excited to just share that. I mean, when I started Leading with Lee, it's so amazing to me to think that three years ago when I started Leading with Lee, that 40 people would show up at a seminar, right? That 40 people would take some time out of their Saturday to come and listen to me run my mouth for an hour, <laughs> I, I, it, it amazes me that that is a reality. And then, then now we fast forward and hundreds of people have seen YouTube clips. Hundreds of people have seen uh, stuff on Instagram and, 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 and Twitter and Facebook. Hundreds of people, people I've I will never meet, I've never come in contact with, have seen what I had to share about life, leadership, and legacy. And I just want to take a little shift beyond leading with Lee. It was a different moment in my life too, personally. At that particular moment in my life, I was struggling with a lot of things. I was struggling with trying to find my voice. I was struggling with trying to figure out how do I express myself in this way? Nobody's giving me opportunity. Nobody's asking me to come speak anywhere. Nobody's asking me to do anything. And I felt like, man, how about I just create a space where I just am authentically me and just be myself and share the things that I feel strongly about and share this idea that Every person has a capacity and level of leadership. We just have to teach people how to discover that. And that one ambitious goal, that one thing of me saying, man, I'm just going to go after it, created this hunger in me, this desire in me, created these moments where I've engaged people about the topic of leadership in ways that I never thought I could ever do. But it's because I believed in myself. And I took a chance on myself at a moment in my life where I didn't know it was going to be this impactful. Here's the thing about our story. The thing about our story is that sometimes when we're doing something, we're trying to take steps and we're trying to move in certain ways. We may not understand the impact of it till we look back. We may not understand the impact of it until we reflect on the moments in our lives that has gotten us to here. In 2019, when I started leading with Lee, I was struggling to finish my undergrad degree. And I've shared this many, many times before here on Leading with Lee, how, how that difficulty of trying to get my university to work with me and, and, and me transferring schools and how that really bothered me. And I, my mom is even in the audience today. She knows the conversations that we had about when I was calling the school and when I was asking the school to waive my classes or whatever it is. Literally over and over again, I kept getting the door closed in my face and I lost my momentum and I lost my courage. And I felt like, man, if this doesn't work out, what, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? How, how can I succeed? But I kept being persistent. I kept trying. I kept moving forward. And eventually I got it taken care of. Right. In 2019, that was happening in my life. In 2019, I had kind of been in therapy, had not really been dealing with some stuff. And then at, as that year went on, I started walking through some things. I got in a men's group and we started talking about some really complicated and dynamic things that we were dealing with in our lives. And I started having conversations with my friends about things that was happening in my life that year. And I was so out of source and I really wasn't completely confident and comfortable in my own voice. But now we look 
two years later, now in year three of leading with Lee, I'm fully comfortable in who I am. I'm fully comfortable with, with my uh, uh, perspective as it relates to leadership. I'm fully comfortable with how I articulate leadership. I'm fully comfortable with sharing what I have to share as it relates to this subject because now I'm more confident. In 2019, I hadn't finished my degree. In 2020, 2022, as we are celebrating year three of Leading with Lee, I have a, not only a bachelor's degree, I have a master's degree, and I'm so excited. Right now, I'm in the middle of getting, yeah, yeah, that's what makes me excited about. In 2019, we had only just did a seminar, and now we're looking at nearly 900, over 900 subscribers on YouTube right now. We have almost a thousand subscribers right now on YouTube. Like, you cannot underestimate you being authentic and you being in purpose and you fulfilling what it is that you believe that you can bring into the world. The world needs your voice. The world needs you to be authentic. The world needs you to actually function in the way that you can function. Because the reality is everybody won't see what you're saying. But when you start bringing that thing into the world, they'll eventually catch the vision. Now, I'm going to stop for a moment, and we'll be right back after this message. Hi, everybody. Lee here, and I want to give some information to you. Do you need someone to host an event or come and speak at your event? You can now book yours truly. Book me for your event by visiting www.leeascott.com. I am so excited to connect with you and do work with you. Much love, and let's get started. All right, so we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. It's been uh, it's been a joy for me to share with you um, today in this three year anniversary episode of Leading with Lee. I, I want to get to this next part, but I, it's, I failed to mention something even in the last part of sharing with how far I've come. It's it's so uh, incredible how your life can can teach you lessons, how your life can transform you, how your life can bring you into new perspectives, even. When I was doing doing what I was doing with school and all those different things and, and going through the process of living in Tulsa, Oklahoma, living away from home, I was experiencing so much in my personal life, so much in, in my, my professional life. So many things was happening. And now I'm sitting here sharing with you. And now I'm back in my hometown. I'm back in a place that I love my whole heart. Yeah, you can, you can celebrate that. But, but I'm back in my hometown, a place that I love so dearly and profoundly. I'm in the middle of right now going through a fellowship that's actually preparing me for some of the things that I want to do in my future. I, I, I'm, I'm doing some of the things that I desire to do. And it's a part of the process of getting to the future. Now, I, I, I think one thing that I always share in every single episode is my theory of the case when I talk about leadership, because I think a part of leadership is having vision, right? And we're talking, and today's episode is called, Can You See It? Can, can you can you perceive what is happening in front in front of you? And, and I like to give you my theory of the case because I always say this as it relates to leadership. Because something that's so important is is we have people in our environment in our society who don't believe that they are leaders. But I fundamentally believe that every single person under the sound of my voice is a leader. Every person in that are, is watching this or listening to this, you have a capacity and level of leadership. And it's essential for you to understand that you have to function in that every single day. People need you to be authentic. People need you to be bodacious. People need you to not be afraid of being yourself. And we need you to show up in the world. Now, I'm going to give my de definition of leadership because I say it every single episode, and I think this is super important that people understand my definition. My definition of leadership is this. Leadership is seeing something that has not happened yet. Vision. We're talking about vision today, right? It's seeing something that has not happened yet and taking people, processes, and organizations in that direction. Leadership is simply having vision, seeing something that has not happened yet and taking people, processes, and organization in that direction. Now, I, I think this is an easy example for everybody to understand, but you can think about it as very practical in your own life. Right now, I, I need you to get out a sheet of paper. 
Okay. I need you to grab a sheet of paper and, 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 and I need you to do something for me real quick. I need you to draw a balloon on that sheet of paper. Now I'm going to give you about a few seconds to do that. Okay. I, I need you to draw a balloon on that sheet of paper. Now I hope you know what a balloon looks like. If you're driving your car, please do not be reckless and try to draw a balloon on a sheet of paper. But you can imagine if, if you are driving or you're in your car, you're doing something uh, or you're cleaning your house or whatever. Just imagine a balloon in your head. OK. Just now. You have experienced leadership. Because I just gave you instructions and told you to do something and you understood what I was the assignment of what I was telling you and you did it. And I, this is literally how simple leadership is. It's not as hard as you think it is. You might in your mind think that leadership is so out of, out of reach. No, you just experienced leadership. Isn't that powerful? Isn't it significant that you right now in this present moment, imagine the balloon or when you were sitting here, if you're sitting at home or something right now, you drew out a balloon. You literally experience the power of what leadership looks like when we actually take the step to function in it. Now, in saying that, there's some responsibility that has to happen. You have to start being responsible for what your life looks like right now. Have you changed your perspective about the way you want your life to look at the end of the year? It's February. We're, we're in February. It's still, it's still pretty early. I know we've been going through so much around our, in our world, in our society, in our culture, and we're trying to figure out how do we define ourselves in an environment that is constantly trying to tell us what we can and cannot be, who we can and cannot engage with, what conversations we can and cannot have. How can we go about this? What can we do? What we cannot do? And you got to figure out how do I want to show up in the world? How do I want to be productive in this space? Right now, even as, as we're early in the year, you got to get a visualization in your mind of where you want to be at the end of 2022. What do you want to be? How, how do you want to see yourself at the end of 2022? Do you want to be healthier? Do you want to be more productive in your relationships? Do you want to be more successful at, at managing your money? Do, do, do you want to, to have the type of, of, of savings account that you need? Do you want to have a better relationship with your parents? Do you want to have a better relationship with your coworkers or your boss or your employees if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner? What, what is your idea of seeing right now? Can, visualize what it is that you actually want to see happen. Because let me tell you something. In year three, I have some vision for leading with Lee. I have some vision beyond this, this, this little moment that you're watching this or listening to this right now. I have some vision. Because Can I share some vision with you? Can I share some stuff with you? Because I want you to hold me accountable for what I say, right? I want you to see what, what, what I'm seeing. I want you to Get in your mind what I'm seeing, okay? I, I, I believe that leading will have a grade A media department within the organization, that we'll have top of the line equipment to shoot podcasts and vlogs and produce short films and documentaries and get nominated and win awards like Emmys and, and uh, uh, Grammys and Golden Globes and different things like that. I, I believe that leading with lead will, will, will grow so much to a point that there'll be thousands of loyal subscribers on YouTube and other podcasting platforms and it'll become monetized and then we'll eventually develop an app. And, and people will be able to go and get information from that app about what we're doing here at Leading with Lee. You, you, you'll start seeing that happen. Can you see it? Can you visualize it with me? Can, can, you, can, you, can you see that there will be people from all over the world that watch and listen to this podcast and vlog and, and they will be impacted to make a difference in their society, in their culture, in their part of the world? I, I, I can see Leading with Lee growing to a point where literally you stop seeing me that often. You all of, a sudden, all of a sudden start seeing different voices and young women and young men and, and people from different cultures. And we begin to grow as an organization and leading begins to blossom and bloom and become something. That's what I see three years from now. That's what I see in the next three years of leading with Lee. 
Can, can you perceive it? Can you believe that there's these things are possible, that we can create avenues and, and pathways for people to, to benefit from what we do? This is what I'm seeing. Can, can, I'm telling you what I see. This is the vision that I have for Leading with Lee. This is the future that I believe that Leading with Lee can be. And a part of that future, too, it's even as an organization, even as growing Leading with Lee, I have a, as, as you may know, I have a company. I have a business called Lee Scott Consulting right now, but it will eventually change. But even in that, my organization, this thing, Leading with Lee, will create opportunities for people. I want to create a paid internship for, for high school students and college students to come and learn how to podcast, learn how to produce content, learn how to create pathways so that they can create a better future for themselves and their families. But it has to be somebody believing and seeing it. Right now, as you're watching this or listening to this, I hope that you get the courage to see for the first time, to see yourself differently, to see your family differently, to see your health differently, to see your relationships differently. You got to get a visualization in your mind to believe that things are possible. Things are possible to those who actually believe that they are possible. Possibility is, is literally around us. It's always around us. But the problem that we have in our culture is we have been warped and, and dumbed down and taught that we only can function at the level that people are comfortable with. And the reality is the world needs you to be you. The world needs you to be authentic. The world needs you to function in your greatest capacity. But can you see yourself functioning in that space? Much love, y'all. Let's go for the next three years and let's get excited about what is to come here on Leading With Lee. Much love, y'all. And let's get started. Let's go. Thank you for watching and or listening to this week's episode of Leading With Lee. If you have not done it yet, subscribe on YouTube and all podcasting platforms. If you want to get more information and connect with me, visit me at www.leascott.com or follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Lee A. Scott II or Lee A. Scott II. So thank you for watching. Much love and let's get started.